Are you confused about all the calculations needed to figure out the parts per million fertilizer? Calculating the right way to make up your solution to get the nutrients you want? Well, I have great news for you. You can take those calculations and get rid of them. I've developed an automatic calculator that's online free for everyone to use, and I'll do all the calculations in seconds. Let me show it to you. This calculator is designed to tell you exactly how to mix up the fertilizer that you need. It'll work with either liquid fertilizers or solid fertilizer, and it'll give you the results in both metric and imperial units. Let me show you how easy it is to use. Step one, we have to enter information about the fertilizer we're going to use. The first question you have to answer is, what is the PPM that you want? What is your target fertilizer going to be? So let's say I want 120 PPM nitrogen in my final mixture of fertilizer. The next piece of information I need to know is the amount of nitrogen that's actually in that fertilizer. And that's really simple. That's the first number of the MPK value, and you'll find it right on the container of your fertilizer. So let's say we have a fertilizer that has an MPK that starts with 8. That's the percent nitrogen. Now, how much fertilizer do we want to make up? And you can work in either gallons or liters. doesn't really matter. For this demonstration, let's say we want two gallons. Put in a two. As soon as you enter the information, the calculator has already calculated the amounts that you need to make up your fertilizer solution. So if we go down to step two, this is how you make up your fertilizer. Now, if you're going to use gallons, as we are in this case, then we want to add this amount of fertilizer. Two and a quarter teaspoons, three quarters tablespoon, three eighths of a fluid ounce, or 11.36 mil. You decide how you're going to measure out the fertilizer. All of those will give you the same concentration of fertilizer. If I had done this in metric, so let's say instead of two gallons, I'm making up two liters, then I would come down to this other section here. This is the metric section. To make up this solution, I would use either three mils, three grams, five eighths teaspoon, or one quarter tablespoon. And I'll take that fertilizer and add it to my two liters of water. You'll notice that if I go up to the top part into step one and I change any of these numbers, the numbers in step two change automatically. So watch the numbers change as I go to 13% fertilizer. That's it. That's all you have to do to calculate how to make up a certain PPM of fertilizer. Now that's pretty simple to use, but how do you get it? Well, it's free online. All you have to do is come to my blog, gardenmyths.com. Look for the menu called List of Topics. Scroll down there, and there it is, the Fertilizer PPM Calculator. Click on that, and that takes you to the calculator, and away you go. It's free to use, accessible 24-7, and everybody can use it. If you want to encourage me to make more calculators like this, grab that UR link and send it to all your friends right now. And while you're on that menu item, scroll down to the next one. It's the soil calculator. This is a similar device that calculates how much soil you need to fill raised bed, garden bed. If you want to raise your soil up a bit, how much soil do you need? Soil, gravel, doesn't really matter. And it's also free to use. All right, so now you know how to calculate parts per million nitrogen. You know how to make up your fertilizer solutions. But what is the right PPM value? Now, you'd think this would be very clear to gardeners, but I can tell you most gardeners, and in fact, many fertilizer companies, tell you to mix their products incorrectly. To learn about the best PPM value for your potted plants and containers, have a look at this video here. Happy garden.